What's going on, everybody? It's your boy EJ here with Ecom EJ. What's poppin', everybody? First off, I want to say happy Memorial Day. I hope you guys are enjoying your guys' day off, especially sp spending time with family and loved ones. Hope you guys are visiting them. It's still Memorial Day. You want to still remember them and make sure you guys visit, you know, your loved ones. Also, that some of us got a day off today so I'm going pretty hard right now on this channel and our eBay store so stay tuned for that you guys see the title of the video I wrote notes now I'm trying to be more organized and be less procrastinated on this channel I told you guys I'm gonna be uploading every day so you guys can see I wrote a list and bullet points of what I'm be talking about and upcoming video content in the future so stay tuned it is the second half almost one week away second half of the year in 2019 uh, so i want to go as hard as i did this first half of 2019 because you guys seen my videos from the beginning of the year you guys already know i told myself the same thing but I, it's it's slowly it's slowly progressing i i see it and it's working so i hope you guys are doing the same thing as well if you guys are new here welcome my name is ej and mainly on the channel here on ecom ej mainly talk about e-commerce well first uh, but most of all what we mainly didn't be talking about is drop shipping on ebay and amazon because that's what i'll be doing mainly right now i also do other things as well and teach you guys how to grow your personal brand your social brand how to make money online such as um, using your personal brand for affiliate marketing you know all that good stuff but right now I wanna you know drive the my eBay and Amazon store a uh, little background I first started dropshipping on Amazon so that's why I want to talk more about dropshipping on Amazon right now well before I be talking about dropshipping on eBay and I want to tell you guys my experiences with Amazon Amazon sellers account being deactivated for uh, especially from inauthentic products from reselling on Amazon so um, yeah like I told you guys I want to talk about more about Amazon so here it goes if you guys don't know Amazon is super super strict they really is as strict as eBay but you guys know Amazon is where the money is so you know I still have a couple active listings on my store but I have it on vacation mo mode for right now because um, um, I want to open my I want to make it active probably next month but I still have a couple of listings I have on my Amazon store so I think this problem right here affected me if you guys didn't know my car got deactivated from Amazon and I just got it back about a month ago or a couple weeks ago and so I'm gonna show you the pic oh actually I'm gonna read off the email that Amazon sent me right there or well, you guys can see it you guys can see we reviewed your account and the information you provided and we have decided that you may sell amazon.com again in our efforts to protect our community we sometimes you guys don't read it. We sometimes, I don't even know what that means. We sometimes, oh my timer, <laughs> get get my laundry. But I don't know, even know what this means. We sometimes err on the side of caution. We are we are sorry for any inconvenience this has caused. Learn more about this policy in your Seller Central's um, account. So. I thought I deleted that email but I actually screenshot it good thing because I wanted to save it for this video so I think that happened to my account I had a couple warnings you guys seen I upload I actually looked back to my videos and I actually uploaded videos of me talking about it I had a couple products on my store that apparently I didn't really realize or didn't double check if other sellers were selling it so I didn't know and I think those brands are um, ban you can't it's restricted reselling on Amazon only the main brand could sell on Amazon which I didn't know I was doing product research product research is always the hardest thing from from drop shipping or any e-commerce so I was just relisting away um, yeah so I didn't double check and I got a couple warnings and when it came to my fifth warning 
that's when they deactivated my account and I had couple sales within that week which is dope because I think I am getting it tomorrow or a couple days from now because I just got the email a couple days ago saying it should be arrived within three or five days and which is dope because I thought that money was is not going to be seen ever again I didn't put any effort in my Amazon, my Amazon seller store from it being deactivated because I switched over to eBay want to gain some momentum and sales on there first and go back to my Amazon account but I just I, I deleted the products and I appealed the situation from there uh, about like a month or two that's when I got that email so yeah be careful selling on um well not be careful just be aware make sure you guys recheck your products on amazon make sure they're eligible to resell anyways guys yeah so there you guys go um i'm gonna go down my bullet uh, my main points that i wrote down here that i jotted down um so so you so if you guys are drop shipping on amazon make sure you guys make sure you guys check if there's if the product is eligible to resell and drop ship on Amazon well not not the word drop ship but eligible to resell on Amazon from other sellers make sure there is other sellers because brands are strict and Amazon is strict about that and you know they may think your product is fake so that's why people get uh, deactivated accounts for inauthentic products because the brands may cause a um, appeal to you the seller so um, I'll tell you guys a couple ways to go around it make sure you, uh, so first off what I did is deleted the product I appealed it you guys can either go to a seller support team and have them you can pay them in the long run after they get your account back uh, for a faster um, process but what I did I just I deleted the products and I appealed and I checked back into my Amazon and some and like what I got the email earlier how I got my account back may take a while though but it is a better process if you guys want to do that route so um, again this is common for new sellers on Amazon and this happens a lot lately I seen around Facebook groups a uh, really really common quest, um, topic it happens a lot in the holiday season so make sure you guys check back with your products especially in the um, seasons like um, Christmas you know where there's a lot of things to drop ship on your store um, other ways people I seen people what people have done is they send template template emails I believe um, to Amazon and you know I heard Amazon really doesn't really get back to you but you know it probably just takes time I'm pretty sure they do get back to you they probably will get set up a you know something for a rep to talk to you personally so hopefully that works out as well after you, this happens to you for the first time especially to new sellers and you got your account back you appealed it and all that good stuff and basically you reinstate your Amazon sellers account oh there's a text Amazon won't bother you for a really good good time really long time because you know they they go for new sellers but if they see that your sellers matrix are good especially seller matrix make sure your sellers matrix is good and you they see that you deleted the product they won't bother you for a while it's just like a routine for the, the system and yeah there you guys go um another thing i want to talk about in this video in my last previous video how i told you guys you guys shouldn't drop ship on target.com the what target website i take that back you guys can target is a pretty good customer service you guys seen my other video we order a lot of things from target and honestly the buyers they don't really really care because i found out walmart really they sometimes send the receipts with the price in it um usually they don't but there's sellers on amazon that's second third company and they send receipts in the in the product so it's it's different but it's not too bad because the, the buyer is not gonna really complain you take their time to return a product and take their time out of the day when they already got the product they don't really mind guys I mean there's gonna be like one in a 
I don't know the percentage, but there's gonna be a couple couple buyers out there that's gonna be like that. But uh, that's how it is. A lot of drop drop shippers actually, we you know we all experience it. You guys are gonna experience it at least once while you guys are selling this, making this as your business. You guys are gonna see people like that. You gotta put you guys self in other buyer's shoes, and you know if I seen that. I'd be like, oh, okay, but at the same time, it, this is an e-commerce world. It's 2019. People buy things from eBay, Amazon, all these other sites, and they they should expect that they come from other parties as well. So it's not just from Walmart, not just from that certain company. There you guys go. Make sure you guys, um, if you guys are drop shipping on Amazon or are planning to in the future, I'm gonna be more active on Amazon probably a couple months down hopefully but i want to concentrate more on my ebay store so stay more in tune on that i mean i still as am active on amazon but again i want to have more have my stream income more in one um one one source first and then transition to a second um resource um because Amazon does have a lot of potential. You can drop ship on Amazon. You can do FBA. You can, you know, there's other ways to sell on Amazon as well. So, again, if you guys like the video, please like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. It lets me know that you guys are liking the videos. It makes me improve for further videos, um, especially right now. I'm trying to upload every day on this channel. Um... So if you guys have any questions as well, comment down below. I'll answer them within 24 hours. And check out the description where uh, there's courses from Ecom Tom and Katie Melissa from Dropshipping on Amazon and eBay that I preferably recommend to you guys 100%. Um, yeah, don't get your account banned. If you guys have any questions, uh, join Facebook groups. Get one-to-one -one answers from other dropshippers um, I highly recommend you guys getting the course if you guys haven't gotten it the reason for that is because the mastermind groups the mastermind Facebook groups in the courses that they provide and there's sellers in there that will help you 100% in Facebook groups but you know make sure you guys get your guys questions answered first before really selling on these platforms because you guys don't want to get deactivated and you know if you guys do make an account amazon i told you guys again amazon is super strict they will know so make sure you guys are being resourceful as well have amazon and ebay they're kind of similar but again there's they're both have their sim diff um they're different you know partake in their platforms so um, I still recommend selling both on Amazon and eBay if you guys only think you should only sell in one platform um, I highly recommend selling in both platforms and yeah there you guys go don't get deactivated on Amazon guys um, do your research on product listings that's what is the hard thing about drop shipping um, it's not that it's not as hard after you find the product see if it's eligible um, and yeah just keep your sellers matrix in a good standard because that's what Amazon really really cares about if they see they have no bad negative um, feedback and good seller rating on um, matrix as in shipping the product on time having it being arrived being in contact with your customer service with from the buyer all that good stuff and your account won't be as you know the amazon will give your account back just like mine so again thank you guys for watching ecom ej here see peacing out i'll see you guys tomorrow videos every day i'm gonna tell you guys second half of 2019 so see you guys tomorrow